a new season and an historic night for the UEFA Women's Champions League. The inaugural group stage campaign begins and here in Group D, Swedish champions Hecken face Lyon, the most successful club in the history of this competition. Well, 20 years on from the first ever matches in the first UEFA Women's Cup in 2001-2002, 16 clubs are ready for kickoff in this exciting new format for the women's game. It's a special night for those spectators as well, despite the rainy conditions. The Hissingen Stadium is full of excitement. Close to 4,000 tickets have been sold as of this morning. Great to see a strong travelling supporter presence. This is Hecken's fifth Champions League campaign, though they could hardly have asked for a tougher opening match against the seven-time title winners. Liona out to prove that they're still Europe's best after a five-year reign as Champions League holders was ended at the quarter-final stage by Paris Saint-Germain last season. Lyon's record remains outstanding, though, ahead of what is their 113th game in the UEFA Women's Champions League tonight. Well, Hecken are aiming to improve on exits at the round of 32 stage in the past two editions of the Champions League. They did reach the quarterfinals in 2011-12 and 2012-13. A palpable sense of excitement here. Fans have only just been able to return to matches at full capacity here in Sweden post COVID-19. And this is only the second game that this ground has hosted of that nature here. The Hissingen Stadium in this part of Gothenburg. It's business as usual though for Lyon, who will count themselves among the favorites once again. And those ponchos are probably a good idea with rain like this. There's so much build-up and anticipation. The first ever group stage in the UEFA Women's Champions League. And it's testament to the work of those involved. Great to see lots of youngsters in the crowd tonight, ready to be inspired by the vast array of talent on show. It is the first ever competitive meeting between these two clubs. Leon do have a good record in Sweden. They haven't conceded a goal, in fact, in their previous three UEFA Women's Champions League matches in this country. And here come the two sides, the home team out of the tunnel first. And their prestigious opponents emerging second.
Well, it is a new season and a new UEFA Women's Champions League anthem. And it's a spectacular anthem on a special night. Tekken are unchanged from the side that inflicted Rosenborg's first Swedish top flight de defeat of the season on Saturday. Jennifer Falk was crowned the best goalkeeper in the Davos Svenskan last season. Stina Blackstenius scored three times in round two qualifying. We have an all Scottish officiating team. Lorraine Watson is the match referee, her 17th UEFA Women's Champions League match. Leon may be without the likes of Wendy Renard and now Amel Majri due to injury, but their squad is still star-studded. The likes of Christian Endler, Daniel von der Donk and Signe Brunn among the summer signings determined to win back the Champions League title for the club. And worth mentioning, the Champions League's all-time leading scorer, Arda Hegerberg, is on the bench tonight after more than 20 months out due to injury. She's been in excellent form. Katarina Macario has scored five goals in her last five games. Hecken, the Swedish champions, they know that they are the underdogs tonight. But they are bidding to cause a remarkable upset here on match day one. So here we go, the champions of Sweden in their fifth UEFA Women's Champions League campaign up against the club who've won this tournament seven times, more times than anybody else. A history-making night in this competition as both sets of players take the knee ahead of kickoff, showing solidarity as the fight against discrimination in all forms continues. A history-making night in this competition and the first ever Women's Champions League group matches are now officially underway. Early touch for Kadesha Buchanan. Christian Endler, the world's most valuable goalkeeper, brought to Leon on a free transfer in June. That's a foul by Philippa Kurmark. Delphine Cascarino not able to reach the long ball, signed a new contract at Leon in May, which will keep her at the club until 2024. She's been here for some time. Leon most certainly mean business in the Champions League this season. A five-year reign as title holders ended in last year's quarterfinals by Paris Saint-Germain, who've been something of a nemesis for them in recent times. Egarola. Good start for Heckett is absolutely vital. Particularly when you see the attacking talent that they're up against tonight. Emma Kurbri gets across and it's cleared away by the goalkeeper Jennifer Falk. Mats Gren 
is the head coach of Hecken. Brought into the club in December of 2019. And Sonia Bonpastor is the Lyon head coach. Arrived at the club in April of 2021, the first woman to manage Lyon. And as a player, won this competition on two occasions. Leon looking to make some early headway. Here is Ellie Carpenter. And a good ball back towards Cascarino. It allowed Steeda Larson to intercept. Carpenter, who is from Australia. First corner for Cave goes the way of the French side. Mila Guile it was who cleared the ball away and the likes of Kadesha Buchanan will come forward here for Leon. The corner, they want to take it short to Macario, but the officials having none of that. Damaris Igarola also lurking. Punched away by the goalkeeper. Buchanan can't get it on target. Guile looks for Larson. Immediately under pressure from Carpenter. A little to go on when it is the first competitive meeting between two teams, but Hecken, despite not being favourites, on a good run, but they've given it away here. And the goalkeeper has to make a decent stop. Good work from Falk. And Leon looking to make some very early headway. And Daniel von der Dock. Brought into the club, of course, from Arsenal in the summer. Testing foul early on. Hecken have got to be careful not to lose the ball in those sorts of areas. Here is Lotta Erkvist. Covering header was from Basher. Kubri. Up ahead of Egarola initially. Kumark. Work the angle nicely here. And that's a great delivery, and it came off Buchanan. And Tekken just inches away from opening the scoring. Goalkeeper, it was a very difficult cross to try and come for. And Buchanan did well. Hecken in their first corner of the game. Early half chances at both ends. And Leona brought virtually everybody back to defend it. Handler was slightly in no man's land. Julia Zijotti was racing onto it, a childhood supporter of Juventus and a big fan of Alessandro Del Piero. Not a good clearance from Selma Basher, it is despite the injuries that Leon have suffered in the last couple of weeks. Still a, a star-studded bench, the likes of Pearl Moroni and Grigio Bock. And, of course, Arda Hegerberg on the bench tonight. Here goes Cascarino trying to reach that, but Ubri is across. Buchanan. Runs into the challenge of Guile.
Here is Melvin Mala. Up against Cormac. Signa Brun was among those waiting in the middle. It's away by Guile. Up towards Blackstenius. He has an outstanding goal scoring record so far. Away by Amandine Henri for Lyon. But Stina Blackstenius is the top scorer in the Swedish top flight, the Damal Svenska. Twenty-three goals across all competitions so far this season. Egarola. Henri, who has been there and seen it and done it as far as Leon are concerned. Six times she has seen the club lift the UEFA Women's Champions League in the past. And by Buchanan looking up the middle for Brun. It's well defended by Luna Gavitz to send it back to the goalkeeper. Carpenter. Pascarino was caught by Lotta Erkvist. Here is Basher. Mala looking to get in behind, and she gets there in front of Gavitz. Mala goes for goal. Well held by Falk. Melvin Mala, who scored once in the round two qualifier in the away leg win over Levante of Spain. And Leon have won their last 13 away matches. Oh, there might be an opportunity here for Von der Donk. And Mala tucks it in. And the seven-time Champions League winners are off and running. And a show of support for their injured teammate, Amel Majri. It's a super start for Leon. And it all came because of that rather unfortunate ricochet of Zijotti, but von der Donk unselfish. And there was Melvin Mala. With his composed a finish, as you are likely to see. Leon not hanging around. They are out to win their title back. And as you can see, they are as united a group as you are likely to find in European football. And from Hecken's perspective, it it's the start that they probably feared. Even despite their impressive run over recent times, and of course, very much still in the mix for the Swedish top flight title. They are unbeaten in their last 11 matches in all competitions, Hecken. Twice quarter finalists in the Champions League, but Leon have a history in this competition that is on a different level to most clubs, in fairness. Here is Endler. Henri. Girola. Headed away by Elin Rubinson. Up towards Blackstenius. Oh, 
tackled back by Basher. Erkvist. Larson. as if you may have picked up the faint sound of an expletive there. In the end, Lyon do get their throw. And Daniel van der Donk with really a very unselfish assist for the opening goal. The woman who won the FA Cup, the League Cup and the Super League while in England at Arsenal. Given away by Erkvist, Carpenter, almost forcing away beyond Kubri. Blackstenius will chase this. Very fleeting attempts going forward so far for Hecken. What a good ball from Gael. And Melvin Malar sent sprawling. Donk back to Egarola. Mala. Rubinson. Fair, fair challenge. Gevitz. They used to play her football in France with Gangon. Terrific pressure from Leon once again. And here is Macario. Mallard to the left. Slightly heavy touch. What is an artificial surface here? Bashes cross. Guy. Stenius has been a very isolated figure so far. Easily won back by Henri. Carpenter. The footwork from Delphine Cascarino. Carpenter away from Larson. Now Cascarino, Brun in the middle. Away by Coolbury. Van der Donk for Egarola. Leon had already established firm control. Cascarino looks for Carpenter. Larson sliding in. kept up their record of scoring in UEFA Women's Champions League matches. 27 games on the spin now in which they've found the net. And they can really cement control with a second goal here. Way by Rubinson. Free kick given to Hecken.
And that is actually because the, the ball just clipped the heels inadvertently of the referee. Anyway, here comes Braun. Lovely play to put it through the legs of Gevitz. Van der Donk might size up a shot. Well tracked back, Stina Larsen. There is Lotta Erkvist, former Manchester United defender. Group D also comprises the German champions, Bayern Munich, who get their campaign underway against Benfica, who are the first Portuguese side to ever reach this stage of the competition, a unique a new format, of course, this season in the Champions League with the introduction of the group stages. Very proud to bring you coverage of each and every match on each and every match day. Forward by Rubinson. Now then, Blackstenius will get there in front of Henri. Only Larson making a run into the penalty area in support. Zijotti, and it actually came off Larson. Better though from the home team. Zijotti a little unfortunate. Stina Blackstenius in need of more support, though, of course, against Leon. Keeping possession sufficiently to create enough chances can be difficult. Here is Rubinson. Blackstenius is through on goal. Well blocked by Buchanan. Timely intervention from the Canadian. Otherwise, Stina Blackstenius might have been able to add to a very impressive goal tally so far this season. Encouragement, though, for the side second in the Swedish top flight. Never come up against French opponents before. Basha looks for Makaria. Buchanan. Turn from Malar, Basha in support. And Falk had to get across and stop that. Under Donk onto the corner. The referee says it had already gone behind Lorraine Watson. Basha, I think it was a miss hit cross. And Falk under some pressure. Come straight to Cascarino. Leon, don't give you a moment on the ball. Van der Donk looks towards Malar. Away well by Rubinson. Hecken looking to just try and stay in the game. Cario, that's a lovely turn. Well held again by Falk. He's already had a lot of work to do. Katarina Macario, who celebrated her 22nd birthday yesterday. Steps on Re. Mala. Trying to burst beyond Rubinson. And the Leon corner. And 
The 21-year-old has started the season very impressively across all competitions. The opener tonight, the fifth goal of the season. It was a cross that came off. Luna gave it one or two shouts for handball from a Leon perspective. Plenty forward, including Henri and Buchanan. Right in front of the travelling supporters from France. It's a long journey. But so far, one where they have been rewarded. Up goes Henri. Only half away. Back in from Cascarino. And easy at the end for the goalkeeper. Play from Zijotti. Now Erkvist. Kurmark. Kevitz. Stenius playing it back. Now Guile. Kurmark. Good football from Hecken. Johanna corner it. And now Guile. Look for a second like it might open up for her. Firm but fair challenge from Buchanan. Now here is Malar and Macario. They look dangerous on the counter. Leon will be it. Good work from Govitz that time. Oh, Leon have a free kick. Nina Gavitz has a yellow card. And she is the most experienced player at Champions League level in this home side. I think the arm was just across in front of Katarina Macario, which is why the free kick's been given. Well spotted by Lorraine Watson. by Henri. Carpenter, first to it, forcefully beyond Larson, at least momentarily. Confirmation of the yellow card given to Nuna Gavitz. He's always a tough competitor. Damaris Egarola. Cascarino took it in a stride beautifully. Brun and Van der Donk in the middle. Mala looking to get her second of the game. It's come out to Carpenter. And Ellie Carpenter still yet to score a goal in the UEFA Women's Champions League. Not too far away. quite keep the ball on target. It's been a tough start for Matt Gren on his side. But as he said yesterday, this is the type of match that you want to be involved in a game of this significance at this level. Work from Cascarino somehow bursting through, and here is Mala. Melvin Mala. Rubinson did really well, and out came Jennifer Falk. Elin Rubinson, one of her strengths is her versatility. She is on the ball now, five times a domestic league champion, a former Rosengard player. 
Headed away by Kadesha Buchanan. Selma Basha. Well, this was the opening goal. Just look at the awareness of Van der Donk to just spot the run of Malar, and it was a super finish. Kormak. Larson. Looks towards Blackstenius. He's in the end for Christian Endler. Egarola. Henri. That's a payoff, Ellie Carpenter. Larson takes the throw, looks for Blackstenius. Who has looked lively in that central role so far. Tekken still to seriously test Christian Endler, though. Van der Donk looking to lead another Leon counter. Cario. Another hit from Basha. a problem here for Damaris Egarola. It is hurt. And it's just sandwiched in between Kurmark and Guile. Cascarino. Carpenter was making the overlapping run. She might still be fouled. Pass doesn't quite have the required angle on it from Nigarola. It is pretty torrential, has been for some time here in the Hissingen area of Gothenburg. Terrific crowd in though, regardless. It's been a very entertaining contest so far. No great surprise to see Leon on top, but they can have certainly shown in fleeting moments that they don't lack belief. Is Emma Kulbury. Get away by Carpenter again. Corner it goes for goal. And it took a deflection, needed a save from Endler. Johanna Ritting Cornerid, who scored in round two qualifying in the build-up to the group stages and against her former club, Rosenborg, 
in the league on Saturday. Run back fairly by Guile. Well, Coolbury. Gave it. Zijotti. It's a bit of possession this for Hecken. That's tedious. He's looking to find Coolmark with the layoff high foot, I think the referee said there. Rubinson, Basher with the cross, Brun is underneath it. And in the end, Gavitz had a big swing at it. I think he did get a touch. At least the referee thinks so. A nervy moment for Hecken. Cannon and Henri among those four. Lots of height in this Leon side. The Cario will get to it. Good block from Zijotti. Now corner in. Rubinson. Look how quick Leon were to get players back to fend off any possible immediate counter attack. Erdvist. She's gone through the middle this time. Coolberry was up there. Mellar can't keep it in play. Lovely flick from Larson. Here is Blackstenius. Terrific goalkeeping from Endler. That's a really good save. That's why she's one of the best in the world. It is Hecken's best chance by some distance. Lovely flick from Larson. And then Christina Blackstenius will probably feel that was a Presentable chance, presentable enough for her to do better. Terrific goalkeeping, nonetheless, from Endler. The carrier looks to Mallard. There's a warning for Leon that was certainly at 1-0. Still a long way to go. Good turn by Zajotti. Much better from Hecken. Much more like the Hecken that had been so impressive across the domestic season, certainly. And they knocked out Norwegian side Valarenga in the round two qualifiers to get to the group stages. Cario might go for goal, and it's stopped by Falk. Had to really stretch. She's in excellent goal scoring form. Five in five for the American. Here's another look at that terrific save. Endless so quick off her line. to trying to get in behind. It is another Leon corner. And can 
the record seven times winners double their advantage on match day one. Cario with the corner. Here comes Falk. Oh, she does really well and inadvertently clattered into by Kadesha Buchanan. Nothing the Canadian could do. But Falk is down. It was brave goalkeeping. to be a bit of concern for Mats Gren, who has pulled his side over. a nasty collision. Thankfully, Jennifer Falk is okay to carry on. She gets a big cheer as well. They do, of course, have a substitute goalkeeper on the bench, Hecker Lisa Howell, who is not very experienced at all yet to make her senior competitive debut, the 19-year-old. Brun towards Mala, forward by Rubinson, headed by Henri Basher. Buchanan. Fitz will take the throw. Just saw Sonia Bonpastor, the Leon head coach, not entirely satisfied with the first half performance, but she'll definitely be happy with the goal advantage offside against Carpenter. Okay. Assistant referee was in the perfect place. Sonia. Juan Pastor, who adamant that Leon want to continue to challenge as they have done across so many years in every competition. She says that she's putting in place her philosophy. Given away by Cascarino. Corner in trying to seize upon it. Black Stenius also in support. Zijotti couldn't really control it. Now Stina Larson. And she can't get to it either. Cascarino trying to track back and atone for the error. Too much on that for 
Morrison to try and reach. And they haven't lost a game since being beaten away from home by Rosengard in June. Hecken, of course, Rosengard they beat on Saturday to close the gap at the top of the table. Three points adrift with four games to go in the Damal Svenskan. Basher. Van der Donk. Basher once more. That's a lovely bit of play from Leon. And here is Malar with time and space to cross. Ertvist with a good clearing header. Carpenter. Egarola. Signa Brun. Van der Donk. No space for Leon. Some space though for Basher to cross. Gavitz got her head to it. Vital here, you feel that Hecken don't concede again. Even the way the game has gone, I don't think they'll be too upset to be 1 0 behind, but to trail by two would make it a very difficult task. Damaris Egarola with the cross. He's up towards Cascarino. Ertvist again flicking it away initially. Cascarino. That's a great delivery. Malar was there. And feels she should have done better. Look at this for skipping past her opponent, Cascarino, and a lovely ball in. Melvin Malar. Satisfied with just the single goal so far. Great to see such a multitude of flags, by the way, be behind the goal. Where some of the Leon fans are representing the cosmopolitan nature of the Leon squad. Signe Brun towards Carpenter gave it away. Carino. Egarola. Good covering from Rubinson. Two minutes of added time at the end of the first period. Abby Hendry is the fourth official. Cario couldn't get there. Carpenter. Turning away well from Larson. Leon. Hunting a second, Egarola Having to try and play it through the middle. It's come out to Mala. Can't get the dip on the ball. Well, she has been a constant threat. Carpenter. Forward by Buchanan, that could turn into a decent ball. And Mala! Well saved by Falk. Now Signa Brun! And the goalkeeper got a touch to it again. It's a wonderful double stop from Jennifer Falk. And Leon can't believe they haven't scored a second. It's a gorgeous flick from Van der Donk. That's a terrific first save, but the second save is sensational. Onto the crossbar. Well, 
Hacken have made it through to half time with the score only at 1 0. Melvin Malar with the only goal of the game so far, though Leon could well have added to that seconds before the interval. Jennifer Falk with a tremendous double save to deny both Mala and then Signa Brun. Chances for the home team have been few and far between. And they do trail at the break by that single goal to nil. Stina Blackstenius did force Christian Endler into a terrific save. And there was some promise for supporters of the Swedish side. But at the break, Hecken trail by a goal to nil. When I was growing up and there were certain periods where I like, maybe didn't feel like I fitted in, the more I discovered London, the more I realised that there was a place for me. The further I went into the city, the more accepted I felt. There's a lot of communities and pockets of London that embrace the game in their own way. So yeah, it makes me pretty proud to be a Londoner. I'm Lucy Monkman, I'm from South London and I play for Dulwich Hamlet FC. So before Dulwich Hamlet women, we were a team called AFC Phoenix. Very, very much a grassroots football club. Won a couple of leagues, won a couple of cups. And we were kind of like, you know what, we feel like this team and this club should have better backing than it does. Parallel to this, Dulwich had just won their stadium back. And so we approached them and we were like, are you guys looking for a women's team? And just by chance, they were. And they were like, it's a real shame that we don't have a women's team. The club is over 120 years old, we really should. It's a complete change. And we were used to playing on like Clapham Common in front of like a couple of dogs and maybe someone's partner. I've been in goal a couple of times. We used to have mismatch kit. And we just like really just scraped by, so here now it's like seeing the evolution of the club is just absolutely insane my name is katie hoy i'm originally from canada but live in hackney and i am a football coach i set up hackney laces because so many girls that lived uh, on the estate behind my house in hackney would come up to me and say hey do you know anywhere i could play my club didn't have a girls set up. So after this happened more and more and more, I thought, okay, I'll, I'll just, I'll set up a club. We set up on a patch in Hackney and then two girls turned into six and then six turned into 20. From that little patch in Hackney 10 years ago, we are now four clubs. We have more than a thousand girls and women playing within our clubs. We deliberately act as a franchise because that support networking community is just so important to help us navigate barriers, but also collectively advocate for change. I'm JJ and I'm from Northwest London. 
I am a football referee and a football coach. Well, I support I'm a referee, do you mind? <laughs> When I first started refereeing, it was something that I kind of fell into by accident. And slowly, slowly, I started to understand it, started to like it. And next thing you know, I wanted to be a professional referee. I look up to Sean Messi because she has done the unthinkable, like she's literally reached the top. She's the only female referee in the Premier League and she's broken a lot of barriers like she is a trailblazer I look up to her and I wish one day I reach her levels my name is Vic Akers and I'm from the borough of Islington I was uh, at Arsenal for roughly 35 years when I first came to Arsenal we developed a, a ladies side we, we managed to carry on through for a few years that uh, we were pure amateurs. In fact, the girls actually paid to play at that point. There was amazing sort of camaraderie with the women's football. I thought if we could get underway and, and get a good side together, um, it would change the game. And I think it did. My name's Anna Patton. I'm from North London. I support Arsenal and I also play for Arsenal having more eyes on the game, it really just raises the platform for us. I think it does make it more challenging. There's going to be more scrutiny, but I think that's also a great challenge to rise to. I think it's amazing that there's going to be so many more of those top quality standard games out there for fans and maybe people who weren't fans before to be able to come watch these games and then see the quality that women footballers do have. My name's Kate Chapman. I'm from Bermondsey, South East London, and I support Millwall. Playing in the Champions League for me was, was unreal. That was my first year at Arsenal in, in 2007, my first season, and to win the quadruple there that year and be one of the first English teams to win, yeah, the Champions League was something special. And I remember um, at the end of the game in the final, obviously having the medal around my neck and I had my son sitting on my shoulders, which was, yeah, a moment I'll never forget. Having children, especially boys, um, for them, it's normal. I think they've lived in my career and they've lived in my life. You know, they've become, they get on the coach of all the girls to away games and they've come to World Cups and European Championships. And kind of watching them and watch them train, they play and train with girls, which is great. You know, you see them all mixed. Girls playing football is normal to them. And, and for me, being their mum, I'm really proud of that. My name is Felicia Pennant. I'm from Clapham Junction in South West London. I'm the founder and editor-in-chief of Season Zine. What makes Football in London special to me is just the creativity in the scene and the fact that football intersects with so many different parts of culture off the pitch. What drove me to make Season Zine? There are a couple of different reasons. The first reason was just being obsessed with football. I guess being obsessed with fashion too and working in that space and meeting really brilliant creative people um, that were also into football. And there being just this kind of overarching stereotype of what a female football fan is. Women don't just like women's football, they like men's football too. And it, to be honest, you take out the gender Women like football. My name is Sadiq Khan. I'm from South London and I'm the Mayor of London. I think it's really important that we encourage uh, big sponsors, uh, those involved in business, to recognise the potential of women's football. I'm a firm believer in if you can't see it, you can't be it. One of the great things about women's football is the role models we have from London. I am really excited about the future of women's football in our city. Hey, are you watching? I am powerful. I am strong. I am able to be exactly who I am on any given day. And I'm able to stand in my truth no matter what. Now watch us move.
Welcome back to the Hissingen Stadium in Gothenburg. Lyon have started as they mean to go on as far as the UEFA Women's Champions League is concerned. A goal to the good at half time. And what a super goal it was. Daniel van der Donk did a lot of the hard work and Melvin Malar with a calm finish at the far post. Goalkeeper Jennifer Falk was outstanding for Hecken in the first period. A terrific double save right at the end of the half to keep the score at just 1-0. Chances for the home team have been few and far between, but they are still in the game. The Swedish champions, Leon, though, look to continue their simply outstanding record in the competition. They've lost just one of their last 34 Champions League matches. Of course, that was to Paris Saint-Germain last season in the second leg of last year's quarterfinals, but they are back this year, determined to do what it feels like they do best, lift the Champions League title, and they have started very much on the front foot. They have also continued their excellent record in matches in Sweden. They are still yet to concede a goal in this country. Having won one and drawn two of their previous matches in Sweden. They beat Rosengard, who are in a title race with Hecken the last time they were in Sweden in 2013. And here in the Women's UEFA Champions League in 2021, Simply the perfect start, 10 minutes in, and a lovely tribute as well to Amel Majri, who's going to miss the rest of the season through injury. So unselfish from Daniel van der Donk. It was a mistake, really, in the Hecker defence that led to the opener. And no mistake from Melvin Mellar. And it's so great to see Arda Hegerberg back among the Lyon substitutes tonight. It's been a long time coming for her. And she hasn't played any football at all since January of 2020 after suffering that horrible injury. And she's spoken with great courage about the mental toll that being out has taken on her. We may, may well see Arda Hegerberg before the end of the evening. But for Hecken, the focus is on trying to get back into the match. Doesn't get too much easier for them in the Champions League on match day two, where they travel to Bayern Munich on the 14th of October. We will have coverage of that, of course. Leon's next Champions League fixture will see them take on Benfica. So Ada Hegerberg keeping warm for now. She may yet be required. But Leon are in front. The second half about to get underway. A slight delay for. Lorraine Watson, the referee. A great noise here in Hissingen. They'd sold just about 4,000 tickets by this morning. May well be even busier than that, an arena that holds around 6,300 or so. Back underway. Work for Hecken to do. Leon doing what? comes naturally. Here is Van der Donk already with a little bit of space. Intercepted by Erkvist. Otherwise Delphine Cascarino might well have been in. Mila Gaia. Larson with the early ball. Not too close to Christian Endler. Stina Larson who joined Hecken from Aston Villa in June. Mala 
the best of layoffs. Here is Kurmark. Aisha Buchanan had to be alert. Here is Luna Gavitz. Kulbri. Zijopti. Easily intercepted by Ellie Carpenter. He's looking to turn defence into attack. Signe Brun. Back to Carpenter. Oh, and Cascarino missed it entirely. And in doing so, with maybe the slightest of touches, actually took it off the toe of Malar as well. Leon still on the attack. Basha. Buchanan. This terrific play from the Australian Carpenter. He played five times in the Champions League last season, including both legs in the quarters. That defeat to Paris Saint-Germain, which hurt Lyon so much. Mala, Basher, they're really looking dangerous here. Away, only as far as Macario! What a finish! It's a super goal from a player who is in red-hot form. And Leon are pulling clear and wasting no time in doing so. Six in six for Katerina Macario. And Leon are already showing that they mean business once again in the UEFA Women's Champions League. It was poorly dealt with, really, by Gavitz. That's not a good header, but what a strike. And this time, nothing that Jennifer Falk could do about it. And they began the first half on the front foot Leon and they have become the second in similar fashion long way back for Hecken from here and I think that will disappoint them more than anything there's been defensive lapses in the build up to both goals Egarola. Now Basha. Bala. Well intercepted by Corner Ed. Almost gave it straight back to Signe Brun. Macario. It's a lovely pass towards Delphine Cascarino. Lotta Erkvist did well, but Cascarino, ever tigerish, has. Done brilliantly to win it back. Malar goes near post. It's a foul on Larson. Well, Hecken are really having to cling on here. Such a terrific instinctive finish. Yesterday's birthday goal is today's score of the second goal. Look how menacing Leon look on the attack. Mela. Macario. That's a lovely reverse ball, just a little over hit towards Signe Brun. Former Paris Saint-Germain striker. Well, you've just got the sense that Sonia Bonpastor was not entirely satisfied with the first half. The start to the second period has been much more what she would have liked. Heckin fans, Leon's 
way record is tough to beat anywhere in the world. They have only lost once in their last 47 away matches. That was to Paris Saint-Germain in the French top flight back in December of 2020. Mala. Not quite sure that was meant for Van der Donk, but Carpenter will reach it. Leon corner. Well, even the scoreline and the rain won't dampen the spirits of the home supporters. And why should it? These are the Knights that they want to be involved in. Lorraine Watson, conscious that Malar is right on the heels almost of the goalkeeper. like half the Lyon team. They really have crowded that six-yard box. And it's led to a third goal. And it just gets better and better and better for Lyon. And it could well be an own goal. Falk beaten again. And Hecken surely seen off here. Corner was swung in venomously from Basher, and it is off the head of Stina Larsson. Buchanan was in there. <laughs> she will take the credit. It's unfortunate for Larsson, but it is 3 0. It could yet get far worse for the home team, of course. Still well over 35 minutes to go. Carpenter almost turning into trouble, almost producing a very rare error. And tough on Stina Larson. But Leon have cut through Hecken this second half and it's reflected in the scoreline. Good interception from Basher. There is some competition for that left back spot. At Lyon, of course, Pearl Moroni, only among the substitutes today. of the Lyon summer signings, another former Paris Saint-Germain player, Pearl Moroni, one of the best squads, it's examples of squad depth in the game. And the Donk looking to poke it through, away by Rubinson. Carpenter, Higarola, Lyon, just relentless. Mala, lovely overlapping run from Basher. Good work from corner in, tracking back. The changes afoot. Janice Kamen ready to come on for Lyon. 
could yet rack up more goals before she's onto the field. Van der Donk, struck by Cascarino, Carpenter. Look how quick Leonardo win it back. Forward by Macario. Oh, and Signe Brun was not on side as it turned out. Have one chance in that first half, brought the most amazing save out of Jennifer Falk, part of a double save from the goalkeeper who wasn't crowned best goalkeeper in the Swedish Damal Svenskan last season for no reason, is for certain. header from Buchanan to Amandine Henri. Selma Basha. Melvi Mala. Damarisa Higarola robbed by Guile. Elin Rubinson looks for corner it. It's great work from Basha again initially. Now Van der Donk, that's a lovely ball towards Mala. Good defending from Rubinson. Every time Leon go forward, they look capable of cutting through Hecken. Delphine Cascarino going off, and here comes the aforementioned Janice Kamen. who signed a new contract a few months ago now in April at Lyon, said she was very proud and happy to continue her stay at the club. She's been at Lyon since 2019, a decent night's work for Delphine Cascarino, even if she couldn't get on the score sheet. Eight straight wins for Leon in all competitions. Looks like it's going to be nine. They are top of the French top flight ahead of Paris Saint-Germain, who have played a game fewer. Here is Van der Donk, back to Carpenter. Now Johanna corner it. Do Heckert still believe? It's up towards Blackstenius, who was caught. Buchanan, I think, hurt as well. And play goes on with Carpenter. Away from Larson. Larson tried to snap back at her, but Cario. Well kept in by Mala. Negarola towards Cayman. It was a good cushion header. Signe Brun again, not too far away from reaching it. It was the Belgians' first real touch since coming on. Buchanan. Cayman, again, well-placed, well-directed -direct, header, this time to find Van der Donk. Lotta Erkvist being spoken to by the referee. Lorraine Watson has been an authoritative figure in her 17th UEFA Women's Champions League match as, a, as an official. It's an all-Scottish officiating team tonight in Sweden. Bella. That will be a fascinating group, Group D. German champions by Munich and 
Benfica of Portugal. They're in just their second season in the Champions League. There are two Hecken players here who were down. Zijotti is still down. And the referee stopped the game because, of course, it looks like it could be a head injury for Julia Zijotti. unfortunate hit by a completely fair challenge from Negarola and accidentally a bit of contact with her teammate Kamen Henri Skims off the head of Rubinson. Leon with yet another corner. Heading towards double figures now, Leon. And the corner count. Selma Basher to take the corner. Figueroa the player who spun and shot. And here comes the first change for the home team. Yulia Zijotti. I don't know whether it's a precaution just because of that little knot that she took a few moments ago. It may well be. It's a terrific reception as she goes off and it's the Australian, Dylan Holmes, who comes onto the field. She joined the club in March from Adelaide United, where she was the captain, born in Sao Paulo. It's a rather grim evening weather-wise, and it's turning into a rather disappointing evening for Mats Gren. Could yet get worse, and the dock can't reach that. They can have a home game in the league to come on Saturday as they look to continue their title charge. Of course, the Swedish league season is very nearly done. The French league season is only really just underway. Carpenter. Brilliant run from Ellie Carpenter. That's a lovely ball, too, for Melvin Mala. And a great pass to Brun. Oh, and gave it as the one who stuck it behind. Signa Brun. That scored a Champions League goal for Leon. Janice Kamen was far post as well, but it was the Dane who mishit the volley. Changes are plenty now. Melvin Mallard will leave the field having scored the first goal of this inaugural UEFA Women's Champions League group stages at Moment of History. And Emmeline Laurent is her replacement. We see Arda Hegerberg. Up comes the goalkeeper, punches away, did well there, Falk. Basher. Katarina Macario with the attempt at a delivery, well blocked by Elin Rubinson.
from Dylan Holmes to win the ball back, but it's quickly snuffed out by Leon. Forward by Henri. That really has been the story from an attacking perspective for Hecken. And they have got the ball in the final third. More often than not, they haven't been able to make anything of it. A of substitutions will go on. Mila Gael races run despite an excellent recent run of form in front of goal. And Melissa Miatovic is on as her replacement. The Serbian. Who's had quite a nomadic career. Melissa Miatovic played in Cyprus and Australia and Norway, among other countries. Forward by Carpenter. Brun with the little layoff to Cayman. Honda Donk. Laurent well this is how the scoring started feels a long time ago now and that was added to early in the second period by Katarina Macario and the game really was wrapped up an unfortunate own goal from Stina Larson, albeit under some pressure from Kadesha Buchanan. from Blackstenius, fouled by Basher, lovely run. Stina Blackstenius, who has been outstanding, not just domestically, and actually in round two qualifying for the Champions League, but she was also terrific at the Tokyo Olympics. Five goals in five appearances in Tokyo 2020. Ian Rubinson to take the free kick. Free kick to Leon. Well, Blackstein has had the best chance of the game in the first half. Offside flag rightly up. Christian Endler has had a save to make in the second period. Signe Brun looks towards Cale. This is Leon's 113th game in the Champions League. And the only club to have played more than 100 matches in this competition. Still waiting, still waiting. Maybe we'll see Arda Hegerberg before the night is over. I think the crowd are ready for that. The wider game. It's been too long, but she's back. And as Sonia Bonpastor said this week, she is 100% mentally and physically ready to go, which is great to hear. Rubinson. Laurent. 
Kibitz, who is on a yellow card and has got to tread carefully. Gives away the free kick. Forward come Amandine Henri and Kadesha Buchanan. Jennifer Falk may yet have more work to do. I wonder whether Katarina Macario might think about going for goal here. Selma Basha may be the more obvious option for a cross, but Macario is eyeing this one up. Blackstenius and behind Carpenter. And still she goes on. And still, a terrific block from Damaris Egarola. Christina Blackstenius has looked the player likely to make something happen for Hecken tonight. Second corner of the game for the home team, and it's well taken by Christian Endler. Good header away by Erkvist. Lorison, Blackstenius, Henry, half got back, free kick to Leon. It's just not going to be her night. Huge credit for, I never say die attitude, and some of the quality that she's shown on the ball has been excellent, but a little unfortunate there to be penalised for handball. A deflection off Henri that she could do nothing about, Blackstenius. Caden. Well will track back by Lorison. Miatovic. No way through. Leon still yet to concede a goal in Sweden in any game. Score stays like this. They'd have won their last four and scored 17 times in the process, conceding just once. They've had some big wins already, particularly in the domestic league season so far. They've hit six goals twice and four goals twice as well. Three here in Hissingen. Basher. A lovely run, absolutely boundless energy. Macario. Oh, I think she was waiting for Lawrence to make the run, but wasn't forthcoming. It might be a rainy night, but it's been a special night for the UEFA Women's Champions League. A, a groundbreaking evening, a, a new format. Great excitement for this season and the future to come. Fonderdonk finding Cayman. Something's never changed, though, and Leon will surely be right up there in contention. Laurent.
turn into a good ball for Pondadon. Well read by Falk, who's been excellent, the goalkeeper. Nothing she could do about any of the goals. Leon had just been in class above, and here we go. Ada Hagerberg has waited a long time for this, and her return to action is just moments away. Macario. Well, first things first, Pearl Moroni on in place of Ellie Carpenter. Moroni, another summer signing from Paris Saint-Germain, the second change is signaled by the fourth official. And here comes Arda Hegerberg. What a moment. Look at the smile on her face. 20 months out with an ACL injury and the highest scorer in the history of the Champions League is back. One of the great ambassadors for the women's game. She's spoken very openly about how tough it's been but isn't it great to see Arda Hegerberg back on a football pitch for the first time since January of 2020. Daniel von der Donk is off as well. Laureen Bagger, just 18 years of age, on in her place. Night's work for Leon. Well, so far, she said in the build up, she'll never take football for granted ever again. Ada Hegerberg, she's now ready to give the best of herself for the next part of what will continue to be an extraordinary career. She might get an opportunity here. It's away by Gavitz. Law immediately looked for Arne Hegerberg. Selma Basher will take the corner. Game is won for Leon. Get the sense they would love for Ada Hegerberg to get a goal. Wasn't too far away from reaching that. Oh, 
free kick given. Foul on Basher by Erkvist. Blackstenius, the turn away from Basher. This is way too close to Endler. Pearl Maroney. Laurent sets up Cayman. One way traffic, particularly since the start of the second half, Leon killed the game really with those two goals. We now have time to prepare for the match day two meeting in the Champions League with Benfica, which for a little while longer, the 14th of October. That's followed by league games against Montpellier and Sochaux before a match day three meeting with Bayern Munich, which could be one of the highlights of Group D. Berg lurking. It's not done yet. In by Basher. Away by Elin Rubinson. Maureen Bagger, 18 years of age, just her second senior appearance tonight. Cayman. Higarola. Then. Here goes Holmes. Can she play it through to Blackstenius? Larson to the left. Stina Larson. Probably as close as Hecken have come in the second half, certainly. Rare effort on goal. It's, it's followed straight away by the change. Johanna Cornerid has run her race. For tonight, at least. It's the turn of Dilja Zomers onto the field, the Icelander, who's mostly been used off the bench this season, the 19-year-old. And a corner it who has been very useful player again this season for Hecken, but like most of their attacking players, just hasn't been able to get into the game. It's been, particularly in the second half, an outstanding Leon display. Here is Hagerberg, it's a lovely touch. Get a card for Damaris Hagerola.
It's been a good night to be a Lyon supporter, part of the Lyon setup. Maybe Arda Hegerberg's return, a significant thing for the long term. On the field, they have got the job done efficiently. Miatovic swinging it in. Good flick from Higarola, not a good one. Taken up by Miatovic. Leon on the counter with Moroni. Higerberg. Cannon. So much versatility in this Leon side, the switching of positions. There are so many options for Sonia Pompastor, who has managed to find the balance very successfully since taking charge in April. Lovely cushion header from Basha to find Baroni. Basha, Hegerberg and Brun in the middle. And cross. The goalkeeper's done really well tonight. Jennifer Fout, despite the score lines, Hilma Basha is impressed too. Stenius somehow kept it in, did really well, but Henri was there. They are determined to keep a clean sheet. Basha. Way by Kubri. Turned by Miasevic, who has looked lively since coming on. The game has long got away from Hecken, even as we enter four minutes of added time. Of course, it's far from over for them with this new group stage format. Play the German champions Bayern Munich uh, on match day two away from home, the 14th of October. Again from Blackstenius. Moroni gets a foot in, it's come back to Kurmark. Fist dispossessed just as the chance looked like it might be on. Leon have done an excellent job of snuffing out those fleeting attacks. Ada Hegerberg has won a free kick. She may not get her goal on her return but just to be back on the football field again is something to treasure
Amandine Henri. Damaris Egarola. Basher. Made by Gavitz. Holmes. Oh, they rattled the ball towards Miatovic. Now the youngster Bagger. Cleared away by Erkvist. Cayman's heavy touch. Hegerberg. Just able to thread it through for Brun. Bagger. Just might get enough on the flick. I'm sure that Sonia Bonpastor will say that there is room for improvement from Leon. It will, though, just be one defeated in the last 35 Champions League games. Good work from Rubinson. Not good with the pass, though. Egarola and Rubinson is out of position. Buchanan. And Laurel has got the pace to get on the end of this. Hagerberg was in the middle, and the cross wasn't good. I saw the reaction from Arda Hagerberg, though. The thought is instantly to look to her teammate and try and encourage. It sums up her sporting values. On a night of history for the UEFA Women's Champions League, but for Leon, it's been business as usual. The record seven times winners of this competition are off to a flying start in the group stages. Make no mistake, they are determined to get their title back. The game was over really early in the second period after Melvin Malar had given Leon a first half lead. It was added to by goals from Katarina Macario and an unfortunate own goal from Stina Larsson. Jennifer Falk was excellent in goal for the home side, really kept the score down. Christian Endler had very little to do, and it is a statement of intent from Leon on match day one. They win in Sweden by three goals to nil. A credit to Hecken for the way they stayed in the game and kept battling right until the very end. The Swedish champions may yet be able to produce something in these group stages, but ultimately they've been outclassed tonight. And on a night where Leon were able to welcome Arda Hegerberg back to the field after more than 20 months out injured, that might be the most significant thing to come from tonight. So great to see Arda Hegerberg, the Champions League's all time leading scorer, on the football pitch again and the most successful club in the history of this competition are uh, off and running. Rain certainly won't dampen the spirits of anyone involved. Hacken, though, a beaten side. And Leon have started as they mean to go on. Hecken nil, Leon three. And that was the story of the game. The visitors dominated in terms of possession. Hecken had just the one effort on target. 
Christian Endler had very little to do. Leon maybe should have scored more. But it is all about winning, and they've done that tonight. Well done to Leon Victors on match day one here by three goals to nil.